Copeland's Appalachian Spring. Now, you might be thinking, but didn't we hear that earlier on in the season? Well, you heard the orchestral suite. This is the original instrumentation and the full-length ballet. So bits of it you've never heard before for a much smaller group, 13 instruments as opposed to the 70 instruments that we heard back in October. Copeland's majestic ballet is all about finding peace in a time of tumultuousness with the war that was going on in 1940s and finding that sense of beauty and reconnecting with the past. This is American music at its finest. We've looked at this whole season through American music, of course, featuring Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. This is a continuation of that wonderful journey. I wanted you to hear both versions in one season to compare and enjoy Copeland's incredible sense of capturing the American spirit. These TFO chamber concerts feature well, a much smaller orchestra, much more intimate setting. It's a great opportunity for our musicians to work together in a more individual way. And of course, it gives us access to the most glorious repertoire that we wouldn't do with full symphony orchestra. Performing in these beautiful venues, we're right here in the Episcopal Church on Orange Avenue in Clearwater. You couldn't fit a symphony orchestra on stage, but with this large chamber orchestra, it sounds just as impressive but allows you to be much closer and more intimate with our individual and fantastic musicians. Live music has such incredible variety and I love being able to perform these chamber pieces for you and with you. On Friday night at the Episcopal Church here in Clearwater and also on Saturday night at Tampa Theatre. Well, that's in Tampa. Thank you very much.